What's up you guys? Hope you guys are doing awesome. So today we're going over a play that allowed us to get a cool 110% in our Discord. So for some background info, Bitcoin has been selling off for the past two and a half weeks and was having a hard time breaking that 52.5k level of resistance. So I'll try here, here, but eventually on the third time it broke the resistance. So it broke it, then it went to 55k however it started selling off pretty hard so when the time of the play happened this was how the chart was looking three red bars now no selling off so due to the long-term picture bitcoin is still going strong and probably has around five to seven months left of running up based on previous bullrun models the question becomes when do we take a long position so in order to do that, we first have to look at the medium term picture. So for the past few weeks, so let's try pulling that up. Okay, so we'll pretend we'll be right here. It just broke it and started selling off. Okay, so let's draw in the descending or ascending triangle to better illustrate the points right here that there's a big sell-off right here then another support line right here so we can see you can call it sending triangle or we can call it ABC pattern whatever it is to you so but the main point is that it tried one two three four times before it broke through so the harder it tries to break through the more stronger after it breaks through that that resistance becomes a really strong support as resistance flips to support after it gaps up above that and then let's go on a lower time frame to see how it looks so we check on the lower time frame and that the res new local resistance is around 55.5k and a new local support is around 53.5k. So something we could have done is that we set alerts around 52k around there. And then we also set alerts around 53.5k. So a common scenario is that it breaks down below 53.5k, recovers, gaps up, or it bounces off 52k. So if it bounces off 52k, we go heavy. Or if it breaks through 52k, then we wait for it to finish downtrending and then we enter long. All right, so now we have the long term picture of it overall going bullish in the next couple months. We have the medium term picture of the ascending triangle. And now we have the short term picture of the local supports we can expect or predict it to bounce off of. And now we can add in another channel to make it more accurate too. So due to the ascending triangle breaking above the 52.5K, 52K resistance line, we can draw a channel to better predict it. So we'll look for a parallel channel right here. We can start from right here or if you want to be more accurate we can draw a little bit higher right here solid and then we pretend we didn't see that we just pull it out right here we'll make a little bit higher to capture that resistance line right here maybe a little bit lower nah let's keep it right here so i can match the supports of the channel okay so we were in the area the three candles down so now we have a better predictor of where a channel will go so just ignore this part here maybe it'll bounce off somewhere along this channel right here 
as it tended to do that. We can pull it back a little bit further too, if you want to be more accurate too, to capture the other one here, maybe a lower support right here to better match the difference of these past two gap ups and this next one right here. All right, solid. So now we have a channel to better predict the price action as it was staying in between that channel for the past three bumps. And now we can also try using a Fibonacci retracement level. So Fibonacci retracement level is great for predicting psychological price levels at which people tend to buy or sell at. So we trace it from the top right here all the way down to the bottom support, which would be around 52, as that is a super strong support for the ascending triangle from the ascending triangle. Okay, we'll pull it back here. We'll pretend we can't see that. So we better predict it. Solid. So based on the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that 53.365 is a solid support level and also 53.8k also. So 0 0.382 is like the ideal support level, 0 0.5 is like another solid level. Okay, so these indicators support or show that the 53k level is a very strong support from both the Fibonacci and then the channel shows that the 52, 52.5k level is a strong support. The sending triangle shows that 52, 52.5k level is a strong support. The short term supports right here show that 53.5k level is a strong support. So based off of all those indicators combined, we can determine that buying somewhere in between 52.5 and 53.5k is a strong position to add on to. And then we can also see that the RSI was pretty oversold. It was around 48 on the hourly charts, but it was also around 35 on the 30 minute chart, which means that more buyers will probably come in too. So we can't really predict it. So we just have to wait until it starts uptrending. So we hold it. It uh, recovered from 53.1K, then the first green candle showed, so we can scale one fourth. So if we have 20K, it's getting 5K, then at each resulting green candle bar, you can scale another 5K, another 5K, etc. So I personally like to use the 30 minute chart. So for me, I scaled in 30 minute, uh, 5K, 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 and then we let the rest run. Okay, so we set notifications at key price points. So the next key price points would be around 56.6K for the Fibonacci retracement, 57.139 and 57.885K. So we also set notification for the red Heishkin candle just in case it starts selling off. So the first one gets triggered around 55.5k around the previous local resistance right here so if we go right here it could form a double top and sell off so if you want to be safe you can scale out one fourth which i personally did however if you pull out on the higher time frames you can see that the sell off wasn't that bad so if you want to be riskier you could keep letting it run. That's not a bad call due to the overall bullish uptrend. However, for me, I just sold off one fourth. Okay. So we keep it going. It sells off a little bit, but then it recovers. So we turn off the screen, let it fly, keep going and boom hits 56.6 K, but just breaks above that. So we keep letting it run. However, it hits 57.1k in which it starts 
sun off a little bit. So if you wanted to be safe, you could take one for profit right here, or you can just let it keep on running. And then first red candle. So it starts, so it has some selling pressure. You can scale off a little bit too. So at this rate, it breaks off above the channel. So you can adjust the channel if you want right here. Bring it a little bit above. Lower support, a little bit higher. Or you can just make a new channel to make it more accurate. Maybe a little higher support. Okay. So then it sells off even more. You're already halfway out. One four for here. Or if you want to take out one four for here. So two four for three four for out. Another big red candle here. So if you want, you could take profits or you can see where it establishes the new support. However, it did reach an RSI of around 80 at this point. So in my case, I just fully exited the position just to be safe. However, if you want to be riskier, you can just let it find a new support. So it sold off really quickly. You could re-enter you want because it's a long wick. Long wicks tend to bounce up super hard. Then it uptrend again, formed a little mini double top, and then lower supports. So in which case, if you didn't exit it before, and due to it forming a lower high, and then it starts selling off again, that's when you fully exit at this red candle right here. So three keys in having this play succeed was that we analyzed the higher time frames. So from the couple weeks before to the lower time frames, so a couple hours before, which allowed us to get the best entry possible by really pinpointing an entry between 52.5 and 53.5k level. And the second key would be to slowly scale in at each bar as even though four, five different strategies indicators told that we would bounce up, it could easily, easily bounce up then sell off hard right to 52k maybe it rejects 52k then sells off all the way to like 48 47k or something so we waited for it to actually start uptrending with the green candle then we entered same thing for exiting too maybe it gapped up a lot then you're tempted to sell right here at this big candle or something however wait for the next red candle to appear for it to actually sell off then you exit at that we waited for it to actually sell off as you could sell off at any of these points if you didn't know or if you were impatient to wait for a red candle however you would have missed all of this profit and then it sell off and that's when we actually sell off the last point would be to be patient in letting the play develop so just play off your notifications there's no need to constantly check the screen the more screen time you get the more emotional you'll get so try not to chase the play set the notifications do your thing you know everyone has their own system that works for them so fully execute that system to see whether your edge actually works and then let it develop so don't try to chase it don't force it let the play come to you and you will be good and that sometimes means just taking one trade per week or only a couple when maybe before you were taking a bunch so hope this video helps Hopefully it gives you a bunch of insights and yeah, talk to you guys later.